All right, hi guys. Um, I'm here to review Unlikely Platypus's games. And he is a student who reached out to me on Twitch. Um, I told him to send me an email so I can review his portfolio games, see where he's at, give him some tips. Hopefully I can help him uh, along his path and hopefully he lands that coveted game industry career job that a lot of people are looking for. And hopefully you can take the lessons that um, I tell him during this critique and apply it to your own portfolios if you're a student. Um, also feel free to leave uh, notes in the comments about um, what we could do better, um, what he could do better, what I could do better as a host. Um, all Always looking to improve. I think that's what it's about. We're not here to tear anyone down, make fun of people, um, or hurt people's feelings. Uh, we're just trying to give them information that will hopefully help them grow um, and be better game developers. So let's do it. Let's get into it. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Okay, so I'm playing. I'm Uga. And there's a giant monster. And I'm scared, so that's good. like a boss fight demo, I'm assuming. There's some music. So you program the walk cycle, that's pretty decent. Let's see if there's a camera do any controlling. No. So you have to control the camera yourself. It might be a little bit too loud. I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Hopefully that's better stream. But I don't know if I'm doing damage. So I see that health bar. So there's no like hit reaction. Right? So if there's a hit reaction, I can tell what's going on in the fight. This music is really overbearing. So I'm going to... Yeah, a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can hear some stuff. But there's no hit reaction, right? Like the, the HB bar is moving, so that's good. But I can't tell if I'm hitting him or what is there. And I got a victory, but it looked like he had half health left, unless that's my health, right? Because it's red, I'm thinking it's the enemy's health and not my own health. Unless this bar, oh, was this bar below the enemy's health? And the bar above was my health. Okay, so one thing I think that's really important is just feedback to the player, right? Like who's getting hurt? What damage am I doing? Um, oh jeez, is it still really low? I put it up. I'll put it up again. Is it still weird? Okay, I think it's because my mic wasn't close to me earlier. Um, hopefully people could hear. Oh, okay. It was Twitch being weird. So yeah, so there's no no player feedback. Um, I killed the guy, and it, I think I'm, I'm stuck. It's like victory, but that's it. So like, I really like the idea for a portfolio to have a boss battle. I think that's a really good idea because it's small, and people instantly know if it's fun. Right, the music was was good. Um, the artwork's not great, but you're not trying to be an artist. You're trying to be a programmer, so I think it's fine. Um, but there's you can make this a hundred times better with like very simple things, right? Like maybe the swords are a two D image, so you can get a better quality like sword image, right? Like also people read from the left to the right, right? At least in um, you know English speaking countries so if you're gonna make um, a title screen you should put the title here uh, in the in the top um, left or maybe center screen and then have your play and quit on the left side right and then that gives you so much space on the one side to do all of your artwork right and all the black space just makes it look unfinished you know what I mean 
unless it was all black like if it was all black then that would be like almost intentional right if there were no swords and it was just all black and then it was just like play title play that's it and um maybe even quit quit because i think you need a quit um button then that would be be pretty good i'm gonna i'm gonna try to play it again hopefully it'll let me get back in there um i think it might have froze a little bit so i'm just gonna alt f4 out of the out of there and i'm gonna <laughs> give it another go so there's just time to die this thing says mono bleeding edge i don't I'm hoping those are just subfolders needed to play this. And this is the only application I need, so I'm gonna play it again. All right. So I had to press spacebar to press play. I think it'd be great if you if you made it enter or spacebar or click, right? Because my click didn't do anything. So okay, so now I know that this is the thing. I'm assuming you chose this place for the health bar because of the um, uh, the height of your monster, right? So you can put it on the monster itself. Um, right? Yeah, definitely wish that there are some hit animations and stuff, and maybe some other moves too, right? Like you're a programmer, so you want to showcase your ability to add cool mechanics to the game. So right now it's like, I know that you can do play animations with a hitbox attached and have it tied to health bars, right? Um, but I don't know how you handle other more intricate things, right? Like, let's just say you had a dash or, your, or a roll or something and you had a jump, right? Like, that's already like way more interesting and, why, and he's not doing anything. So it's like, this enemy's not really even an AI, I'm thinking, or he's stuck. Right, like the AI got in some sort of loop that I can't get out of. Right, and I'm killing him. Oh, I'm stuck too now. I am frozen. Oh no. All right, well, while I'm frozen, I'm gonna look at this too. Like your alpha cards aren't working for the hair, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you didn't make the art, so that's not really, really your fault, but um, try to pair up with artists that like are really pushing right like not just your friends like find the artist who's like I want to make the best shit someone that's gonna push you to do better shit right because if you're like oh I'm just gonna do the you know the job that I have or whatever then you're not going to push yourself you know what I mean you need to work with people who give you a little bit of shit like not so much shit that you want to like kill them or kill yourself, but like enough shit so where you want to sh prove them wrong, you know? All right. But I do like this creature design. I don't know if it's stolen or if it's original, but it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right, like he can jump, but I can't jump. It's kind of a bummer. Because that seems like the counter to this, right? Whenever you see this jump smash in other games, you're expecting to jump to stop the the smash. Oh, I died. I wasn't even looking at my health bar. But I see this green bar, and I don't know what that is. So either you did add abilities, and I don't know how to use them. Uh, quit. Let me try Q. Is Q quit? Escape. Is that quit? Space bar again. Right, like, I don't have a mouse. Arrow keys aren't doing anything. WASD is not doing anything. So, I'm just gonna hold it for again. You launch. And we'll try to get it. Get it going here. And I don't want this to be like, um, you know, me shitting on you or whatever. I think this is like really good for a first attempt. And I'm not a programmer um at all so definitely like some of the stuff uh i can't i can't do because I'm, I'm not a programmer right but like the things that i could do and i'll show you, i could um you know work with 
with with the programmers, right? Because I was I was like the artist. I was on the artist end end of this, so I would just reach out and find the resources that I needed to to succeed. So let me. So there's like a little combo. Let's see. I'm trying to I'm holding right click. He had a hold right click feature and a different thing that he might pressing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there was a there was a a cooldown change when I pressed a button, so I don't know what button it was. Let me try it again. Is that a spell? Three, four, five, six key, seven key. E R R R did something, but I don't know what it did. Oh no, I'm dead. Alright, um... So I would say work, work on the feedback, and if you're gonna want something that you want to get hired off of, really try to think about what you're showcasing, right? So if this is like a boss battle, think about the abilities, the counterplay, what's this boss's pattern, and, um... I think it'll that that will help get get you to iron out the rest of uh, what you need to make. So I'm gonna quit this one. Go to your next game. Let's see here. No, I already played Soki. This is the one. The builds the builds folder. All right. So feeding frogs. We're doing it. I really wish he was in here so I can ask him questions, but um, this is just, this has, to, this has to have him. So this one's already so much better than Soki, only because the menu's interesting, right? I'm engaged. I have a cursor, right? So I'm like, oh, I, I know how to navigate this, right? Before I didn't have a cursor, I didn't know how to navigate the menu. But I would never think to, to press spacebar. Has a high score here, right at the front. That's fine. I want to play again. Try to beat my high score. So let's let's see. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. I'm like a I'm like a frog puppet. I, I'm trying to eat flies. Oh. So I'm like tossing frogs. But if I stay on the ground, then I die? Oh. You know what? Surprise. <laughs> this is surprisingly fun, though. Like, I'm, in I'm enjoying flinging these frogs. I'm sure it can get frantic if you really want to save your frogs. All right, let's. Let me go back to the main menu. I'm gonna look at how to click and drag the body of the frog to move it. Decrease over time. If it's zero, then it will die. Okay. I like how the rules are, are kind of clearly laid out. That's that's nice. Flies will randomly spawn in the world. Throw the frog into the fly to feed the frog. U score will go up. So just pay attention to spelling and grammar. I'm the worst at spelling grammar, but you're you're publishing it out to the world, so you want people to, to kind of, you know, um, I guess, kind of have that level higher, the higher level of standards, right, when it comes to this stuff. Your score will go up over time, as well as plus two points for each fly you get. Every time a frog dies, you lose a lot. If you lose three, and it's game over. Okay, I didn't know that. So you have three frogs, but you can have more than three frogs. Okay, mushrooms. I'll see you. We're gonna play again. This newfound knowledge. Oh my gosh. So like, I wish I can grab him in the air. Like once he starts moving, but I can just keep keep him. Hey. 
See that there's no way to stop them, like they're always gonna die. Unless catching frogs. Oh, getting flies gets them life. So this one needs to get fly. Right, so that wasn't explained. Alright, I'm gonna start again. We're gonna beat our, our high score. So I can break this game, I think, by waiting and just letting the fly spawn. Right, like this guy's dying, but I could just go like this, and now I'm like, okay, cool, I have another fly. Right. And I have to get this. Alright, cool. Go this frog. Oh, uh, see, it's not letting me grab this frog. But I still beat my high score. But like, if the controls are better, I could just game game this this uh, thing out. What up, dude? Um, yeah, I'm reviewing people's uh, portfolios. It actually could be addicting. I could totally see it being addicting, especially if this was on an iPhone or something, and you're just using your finger to, to, to flick the frog, I think it'd be really cool. And if you have like poles, and then you, the, the, the frog's tongue could like swing on them, and you can just go like that and kind of like fling it out like a Rye Star or like a um, Sonic uh, pulley thing, oh, it'd be sick. This is actually a pretty good idea. Uh, the execution's pretty good for like a student project. Um, definitely, I would work on the um, controls a little bit just so. And it's just making the radius of the frog bigger and allowing you to um, move the. select the frog in air so I could juggle the frogs. Because right now I can't juggle the frogs because I can't touch them in air. Um, I'm gonna restart, I'm gonna play it again. It's, it's actually really fun. And the music's pretty charming. I don't know if you paid for the music or if I'm gonna get a copyright strike, but whatever, it's it's fine. Um, right, is he gonna get it? No. Right, like the other thing is like, how would you mobilely monetize this thing? See, like, right there, I want to grab that guy, and I couldn't grab him. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's dead, too. And you're dead. Yep, restart. So, 54. It's... yeah. Alright, what am I doing next? Alright, I'm gonna go back to the main menu. I'm gonna quit out. Play his other game, but I think this one's so much better than the other one. Even though I think from, like... Uh, a like triple A perspective everyone would think oh the other one's so much better because that thumbnail is so cool when you see that cool like monster but we're gonna play game number three right now oh more okay there's shaders what's going on here let's see I don't see an exe okay there's no XC to this third game. One second. All right, we got it loaded up. So 
so whoever's working on the music so like same notes as the soki game with the menu actually like it's center screen's fine most games do center screen i just prefer if it's left left the line and then you have this much real estate to put art right like this logo could be 100 times bigger um but that's that's super minor i should have read on how to play um all right but at least we're gonna know that so everything here is made out of clay and scanned in. That's what the, the website said. So that's that's pretty cool. So you kill the lumberjacks by running into them, which doesn't make too much sense to me, but I like that pumpkin. Ooh, I can jump. And he's saying I could heal if I hold left click. I can heal the tree. All right, oh geez. I'm like a, a tree ant and I have to kill these lumberjacks. So was your intent to run into the lumberjacks? Because I just don't think that that makes that much sense. Like, they had no chance. Can I lose? So, like, some of this is cool because it's clay, but it's also, like, I don't know what the, like, whatever your school assignment was, but it could have been, like, like, this could have made your life way harder than it needed to be, right? So you could have focused on other things, like getting more mechanics in or something else. Um, I don't know, you definitely don't want the, the game to suffer because of the art style. Oh, jeez. Oh, bodied. Heal tree. And this is where, when I, where I die. Give me your strength. Give me your strength, chat. I need your strength. I need, I need the Goku strength. No! This game has a sad ending. Because it's wave based, it's like, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna live. I'm not gonna survive. No, 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 no! Fuck! No! Fuck you. Yeah, the last tree of the forest fucking dies. That's what happens. So like, I would have make something that you that ends, and not ends in like a you you lose. Right, like this is like COD zombies, but I I actually don't like zombies as much as most people do because it doesn't like end in like you escaping, right? Like, Left 4 Dead, you, you can escape, you can win the game. Like, games you can't win are just annoying. And also, like, if I'm reviewing this, like, portfolio, right, and I play it and I win, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna leave feeling freaking good, right? But if I lose, I'm gonna be kind of just frustrated. Um, so, like, I don't know if you subliminally, like, want to make your game easier so people can win right and then they feel good about about it at the end of the day i mean that that's like a little i don't know what that's called social engineering or whatever but that stuff's kind of important lend me your strength chat <laughs> yeah Yeah, that would be nice too. Definitely. Upgrades would be good. And it would also show off your programming. Because right now it's it's left and right. Like I know you know how to make a, a timer that controls waves. Right? And I know that uh, you know how to translate the character left and right. And have um, some sort of 
death animation play when I when I kill the lumberjacks by walking into them. Right, but if I could like plant other tree ants to like temporarily block the path to buy me time to heal the tree or something, that would add a lot of death. Thanks, chat. I'm using your power. Oh no. What are you doing? Spirit bomb. Oh no. I think I got to wave 11 last time. And this is the last tree on earth too, so like, you made it so sad if I lose. Oh geez, where's he going? I really like the healing mechanic, it's actually pretty cool. I have uh, two cameras set up, I have a third one that's not hooked up. I know you think so, it's only two cameras. I have a third camera that's not hooked up at all. I wanted to have three, but if I have three cameras set up I can't actually show the game. Because I, I used the game on one of the switchers, so I can't. I'm trying. Oh no, okay, I made it to 13. Press enter to continue. Nice. Alright, well I definitely had fun. Let me look at the credits. Oh jeez, I probably shouldn't... Crap. He didn't want his he didn't want his real name out there, so I gotta hide that shit. I gotta hide that shit. Alright. So yeah, any uh more feedback chat that we can give give to uh Mr. Platypus? Yeah. Yeah, the Soki one could use the most work. Definitely like try to partner up with an artist to get the menus on point because it's the first thing people see too. It kind of was depressing a little bit. It's a little bit depressing. But I think it was it was cool. Um the frog one. Yeah, the frog one is so good. Yeah. Yeah, the frog one's the best one. I don't even know what a Lorax is. What's a Lorax? Isn't that like a Dr. Seuss creature? The movie Lorax. Isn't that Dr. Seuss? It is. Okay. It is Dr. Seuss. Okay, cool. At least things grow. Right? Yeah, I like the growing. Like, It'd almost be cool if there were multiple trees too at one point. Like if I had to like, if I could plant tr other trees... Like if I saved them after a wave, then I go to the next wave and there's more so something. I like I like a sense of progression. Um Yes, Groot powers. Groot powers for sure. What else could you Definitely. Oh, the other feedback I had when I was looking at it, um, before I, I went online, I didn't play it before so this is my first impression but when I just looked at the image um, I was thinking that the um, I was thinking that it'd be cooler if you were a lumberjack and there weren't so many <laughs> right like if you're a lumberjack surrounded by trees and you just cut them down and they're attacking you <laughs> like something else would have been a little bit different right like if, if you're a lumberjack the whole game changes and it seems like it'd be a little bit more fun right like what are you you know like i think because the lumberjack's taking all the action right uh 
yeah, you gotta break it up, right? Like if you can throw that the hatchet, like imagine if the if Groot could punch, right? If Groot could punch, and then pick up the 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 axes and then throw them at the lumberjacks, right? Like he throws it like he's doing a throwing axe, and just splits their skull open, and then the claymation just oozes out, right? Like that's freaking awesome. Um. Yeah, you can have like a little Patriot moment with Groot. Groot meets the Patriot, the game. That sounds awesome. Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be so sick. <laughs> yeah. Just like, or even just rooting them to the ground so you have more time to deal with the other lumberjacks and then you can come back. That'd be pretty cool. So um, definitely think of mechanics so you're saying that you're you're a programmer so like are you programming and designing so i have some questions um maybe you can answer them when he comes back to chat some other time but if he's programming and designing i would focus more on the design stuff uh really push that um but i'm a designer not a programmer and if you're not programming and designing try to work with the designer who's going to push to have as many of that stuff in i don't know how your classes are set up um, I like that they're playable like our portfolios were not playable for the longest time so that's really good that you can just download and play the game and that's definitely the pro of using unity over something like unreal because you can just give someone a link and they can play in a browser that's awesome um, what else is there that could make this better um, also work on feedback, just communicating what your thoughts are to the player, right? Like on the Soki game, I didn't know how to press start to play. I couldn't really exit the application without pressing Alt F4. So just make everything super user friendly for people. Um, and also don't be ashamed of your games, right? Be proud of what you're making. Um, just work harder and work work on them right because you you have the skills to make that and that's all you really need right that's such a good foundation you just need to build on it yeah yeah nightglow definitely has a good point there the feedback of knowing what's selected or having an icon for the key or button you're expecting people to press first for the soki game yeah, like, if I was a man without scruples, I would totally want to steal that game. Maybe you stole it. Maybe there's a game that's on mobile that already exists that's like it, but I don't know about it. So definitely take that to the next level, because that could be another Flappy Bird. <laughs>